building a ladder to infinite possibilities. One of the more amazing aspects to life that quantum physics teaches us is that all possibilities, infinite possibilities, exist within every moment. We also learn that the subatomic intelligences making up the perceivable universe are clumped together in forms that the mind assigns use and meaning. These subatomic intelligences are listening to our thoughts and watching our actions at every moment. In the science of epigenetics, we find that the decisions, opinions, fears, and other emotional states not only create gene expression, which changes DNA, but that these changes are passed down for generations unless acted upon or changed. The way we view life, our point of view, sets up a matrix within which the subatomic intelligences build their forms and sequences. By changing your conclusions about who you are, it changes the matrix and thus changes the forms surrounding you. Most of what makes up our lives are the conclusions and points of view we established about what we perceived as events that happened around us. These conclusions and points of view direct the activities of subatomic particle waves. Unfortunately, because we are habitually inclined to conclude and judge what we see and feel, we end up inadvertently doubling down on our situations, creating unchanging conditions, stagnation, and premature death. The way out of the conundrum of reinforcing fixed or stubborn conditions is to stop judging, stop concluding, and stop habitually asserting a particular point of view. Instead, ask questions. The question is a signal to the subatomic intelligences to change their positions in the matrix of self. When you allow your perceptions, but then do not judge or draw conclusions about them, it opens up the energy and the space for change to occur. By staying in the question, you loosen tight fixed forms and start to allow new energies and new forms to come into being. How do you stay in the question? The key is mindfulness. We must be able to observe the moment we double down with a conclusion or a point of view. For example, your employer passes you up for a well-deserved promotion. The conclusion, it's unfair, or I'll never get anywhere in this place, or I guess I'm just not worthy. Instead, ask the question, what else is possible? What about this is getting me to my greatest and most glorious life? Now, by asking questions, the secondary habit is to suddenly receive an awareness or a perception or answer, and then make that answer a conclusion about how things are. This is where mindfulness comes in again. Instead of making these answers into conclusions, simply ask more questions. The goal is to remain in the state of ask at all times. By attempting this, you'll become acutely aware of the debilitating and limiting conclusions and judgments you're making about your life. And sometimes it ain't pretty. Every time you replace a conclusion with a question, you've added a rung to the ladder of infinite possibilities, allowing greater space, greater vision, and higher awareness than you had before. Ultimately, you're climbing into your infinite life, packed full of potential and possibilities for realizing the life you truly desire to live. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.